the Quebec Ramparts are 2023 Memorial Cup champions here in Kamloops after defeating the Seattle Thunderbirds by a five to nothing final in today's Memorial Cup final. And Kevin, what a story for Patrick Waugh, who's won four Stanley Cups, three Conn Smice, had a Memorial Cup already, but this one will be special, having also won a QMJHL title. Special because it's his last time as a coach, right? So he wanted to go, go out and continue the Cinderella story of his hockey life. And you know what? His team beat Seattle already once in this tournament. They were heavily outshot. They were heavily outbattled on the face-off circle, but they were good enough to win the game because they stuck to a real defensive-minded mentality. They went to work with four days rest. They worked on face-offs. They worked on offensive zone trying to strengthen the weaknesses they had in that ultimately the honor and the right to hoist the memorial cup for the 103rd time and celebrate there's the blue gaty and this is a team of destiny in my mind they they played so tight into the structure into the game plan patrick Waugh had them ready to go and they delivered in a big way here beating the Seattle Thunderbirds 5-0. 17 years between Memorial Cup wow. titles for Patrick Wall with the first coming back in Moncton in 2006. He's standing by with our Julia Tasheri. Well, Coach, we spoke pregame. You've grown, you've watched a lot of these guys grow up in front of your very eyes. What's it like to see them take this over the finish line? I'm so proud. So proud of them. I know this is a nice uh, I'm one so too. proud of them honestly I mean they they've been resilient all year they've been working hard it's a, it's a very special group I mean from from the disappointment of last year to the training camp this year and seeing this got these guys working so hard and and I was a bit nervous before today's game I won't lie because we we had a couple of days off and then two good practice but I was curious to see how we were going to come out and the guys came out like really nice and they played hard and they play well. I think it was our best game of the, the tournament. But I have to say one thing. I want to say hi to our fans in Quebec. They they've been like I wish they'd be here with us right now but I know we're going to see them later tomorrow or tonight. Thank you very much coach. You're welcome. Patrick Waugh told us all tournament long his playing career wasn't always a fairy tale, wasn't always a Cinderella story, but certainly his coaching career with the Quebec Ramparts has ended that way tonight as a Memorial Cup champion. For more thoughts of this game and the rest of the tournament, we'll hand it off to the panel with Laura. And as I've been all tournament long, joined alongside Cheryl Pounder as well as Craig Button. In our pregame show, we mentioned that James Melatesta just celebrated his 20th birthday a few days ago and how great it would be to get a belated birthday gift the Memorial Cup, but he also got a little more hardware as well as he was named the MVP of this tournament and really just carrying over from his outstanding playoffs where he was named the QMJHL playoff. MVP. Yeah, and had five game winning goals as well. I no mean, this guy deal. certainly did it all with his line mates, Robida and Huchette, and really bought into Patrick Waugh's plan, grit, skill, defensive structure. And this was a guy that led by example. He separated, he recognized where he was on the ice, when he could press on the forecheck, when he could hound and when he could close. But man, his IQ is off the charts as well because he also recognized when to slow down and when to speed up the game. Look at the way he shields there with that wide base. And then timing is everything as he jumps into space. He actually started that play, slowed the play down and then got going north. And it's so wonderful to see him not only hoist the MVP, but the Golden Memorial Cup, pretty amazing. Comes into Quebec as a 16-year-old, just turns 20, and he leaves a Memorial Cup champion. And, you know, the progression of a young player, you know, trying to test himself at the highest level of junior hockey, playing for an iconic uh, person in Patrick Waugh, and then everything that he had to do along with his teammates to emerge champion. I mean, if winning was easy, everybody would do it. And it's a hard road to go on. And these young players did exactly that. They stayed on the hard road and they were committed to achieving something very, very special. James Melatessa now with Julia. James, you've been with this team for a long time. You've grown up with this group. What will you remember most about this experience? I mean, we knew, Pat always said, trust the process. Coming in at 16, didn't expect to you know, have a too big of a year, but we were, we were always good, competitive. And this year, I think, you know, Pat just made all the changes, did all the trades, and drafted great. And I mean, we're double champs, so you know, it speaks for itself. Didn't give a goal against one of the top teams in Canada, so you know, defense wins championships. 
Yeah, trust the process. What could you say about the way your team executed the game plan tonight? I think we had a, one of the best games of the year. I think we were finishing our checks. We were physical. We were in on the four check. We didn't give them a lot of chances. Roos played great. I think overall, you know, from the coaching staff on to the players, everyone just played a great game. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, if he didn't win Memorial Cup MVP, I know who would have. That would have been the goaltender, Will the Thrill, William Russo, who was just a brick wall this entire tournament. Remember after that win against Seattle in the round robin saying, it was just me against the puck. Not me against anyone else, just me against the puck. We got our first shutout of this entire tournament here in the Memorial Cup final. And yeah, a brick wall from start to finish pretty much. The puck didn't win. No, <laughs> not at all. That battle. Especially not against Seattle. Well, yeah. And when you think about, you know, when, when it was announced that James Malatesta had won the MVP, he skated right to William Russo and yeah. gave him a great big hug. So, you know, there's always going to be more than one player that's worthy of winning the MVP, but William Russo's performance here at the Memorial Cup simply outstanding let's not forget what he did in the qmjhl playoffs they only lost two games won every game on the road behind the stellar net minded of william russo and you know we're talking about a top team in the chl and the seattle thunderbirds a team with lots of offensive ability in two games he surrendered one goal against this team and they had their opportunities maybe not so many in this memorial cup final but when they tried to test them he just said, you're not getting one past me. They didn't. A great performance. By but it was all Russo. calm, too. We talked about that, how calm it was and his presence of mind in the crease. And there's his granddad, Bobby Russo. And William now joins his grandfather, Bobby, as a Memorial Cup champion. Bobby won in 1958 with Hull. He won four Stanley Cups. was Rookie of the Year in the National Hockey League. I wonder if we asked Bobby if he could score on him, what he would say. He was a really good offensive player, Bobby Russo. He'd say... I might, but keep in mind, I'm over 80 right yeah. now. He's a good grandson. He'll let his grandfather <laughs> yeah, score yeah, on him. And I doubt that. Another impressive stat, because there's a lot of them when it comes to the Remparts, 54-1-0 and when leading after two periods. And again, shutting the door here on this Sunday for the ultimate prize, the Memorial Cup. And now that this tournament has come to an end, it's time to give out more accolades as we take a look here, Craig, at the all-star team for this edition of the Memorial Cup. Lots of good players here. I mean, William Russo, we just talked about him. We talked about Ma Malatesta. You know, Krinkovic had, had, had an excellent tournament. Theo Rochette returns from Switzerland, is the captain of this team. I don't know what we can say about Olin Zellweger. I mean, he's a special, magical player on the ice. And Nolan Allen on a defense that was really good for the Seattle Thunderbirds throughout the tournament, throughout the year, you know, found a way to just stand out, maybe just a little bit more. Not an easy group to pick no, when you're looking no. at the quality of player in this tournament. Well, yeah, I mean, and all of them had such an impact, and there was many players that had an impact on their team's overall performance. But, you know, I thought you got it right, or everyone got it right on those ones. And Olin Zellweger, you know, playing for the Blazers in his hometown. Pretty impressive, you know, tough finish, but you look at those guys in the future, it is so bright. The celebrations continuing here at the Sandman Center. I think the bell means it's it's time for us all to go. We want to thank everyone again at Kamloops, BC, all the volunteers, everyone who made this experience so special. And we're looking at you, Saginaw. We'll see you next year.